Hey guys, today we are talking about the Q Sugar Weasel. This is the less expensive version of the Honey Badger. There are clearly some big differences in this gun over the Honey Badger, and I wanna to talk to you guys about that today. I think it's a nice gun, but is it worth the price? Let's jump into it. First off, let's talk about the cost. The Q Sugar Weasel is definitely not cheap. With a price tag of around 1,500, but when you compare it to something like the Q Honey Badger, which can go upwards of 3,000, it's definitely the less expensive and frankly, cheaper version of the Honey Badger. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly option of the Honey Badger, it might be something worth looking into. However, honestly, I just finished building a 300 Blackout myself. All in all, it came out to about 1450, and I'd say I have a lot more features and a lot more things I want in this gun over what the Sugar Weasel offers me. Now, one thing that I want to talk about is the color. While it is very similar, we do have the anodized Honey Badger. They're just not the same. You can see here on camera, they look very different. I like the color. I like that it's a non-black finish and that the rail is a different color. Everything fits really well, but it's just not the same color as the Honey Badger. Take that as you will, but I think that the Honey Badger has a crisper, cleaner look to it. Now our client did go and pick this up in the SBR version, which means short barreled rifle, the Honey Badger and the Sugar Weasel, both here are SBRs for people waiting to pick them up. We wanted to give you guys the best comparison possible when it came to this rifle versus the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger comes in three different versions. It has the SD model, which means that the rail covers the suppressor. It has the SBR version, which we have here, and it does have a pistol version. The Sugar Weasel comes in three different sizes. It comes in a pistol version, the SBR version, which you see here, and a 16 inch 5.56. Both of these rifles are 300 blackout because we wanted to compare apples to apples. Now the Sugar Weasel does not come with the Q stock that you see here. It comes with a Magpul MOE SLK carbine stock. It doesn't come with an ambidextrous safety selector like it does on the Honey Badger. It only comes with a single stage mil spec trigger rather than a Geisley trigger on the Honey Badger. Both rifles do come with a seven inch barrel and it does come with Q's tapered Q Cherry Bomb muzzle device. So why 300 Blackout? Now most of you guys already know the answer to this question, but 300 Blackout is great whether you want an ultra quiet rifle or you just want that harder hitting 30 cal round that you might get out of something like a 7.62x39 using an AK. This gives you the best of both worlds, an AR platform without the need of those funky mags that you see with the 7.62x39 ARs. This does use the standard 30 round magazines. And I say standard, but what I really mean is you should technically be running the 300 blackout versions of these mags, but they're all the same style. And that's nice about the 300 blackout mags. You can also run the 5.56 in them, but be aware if you ever are running both of your guns to keep them separate from each other, it's easy to get 5.56 and 300 blackout mixed up and put the wrong mag in the wrong gun and blow it up. The Q Sugar Weasel is a shorter gun, but it still provides a good, accurate gun with some range to it, out to 300 meters. Let's talk about pros and cons. Sugar Weasel compared to the Q Honey Badger, well, the Sugar Weasel is definitely more affordable, but it doesn't have the same features as the Q Honey Badger. The pro to the Sugar Weasel is that it's definitely cheaper. The con is that the stocks are different. Another con is that this looks just like another standard AR. It doesn't give you all the same feelings as you look towards the Q Honey Badger, but it still says Q on the side. I personally think that the name Q is awesome for suppressors, and honestly, I'm very excited about their 8.6 Blackout. I think it's a great round and one that I would love to have in my collection. But the 300 Blackout Q really just stands on its name. The founder of the Q is the founder of the Honey Badger and the 300 Blackout. 
There really are no pros to this gun other than the cost and having the same name as the Q on the side of the gun. I do wanna say that the barrels are the same. They do also both run a adjustable gas block. It is a one and five inch twist. They do also both have the same charging handle. Magazines are the same. I really don't know what to tell you. They're different guns and they are so different. I can't imagine why they would build a lesser quality mil spec AR when they have something like this. Build me something closer to this that may not have the same feel to it, but at least gives me the same options. Bulk carry groups are even different. Honey Badger doesn't even have a dust cover. This one does. You are just giving up so much. All right, let's talk about my final thoughts. Honestly, it was really nice to borrow this gun from our client. I truly appreciate them doing that. Q is not a company that tends to send out firearms for review. Unless you're a really large name like the Firearm Blog, shout out to them, great friends. But would I personally buy this gun for myself? I don't think so. I think I could save money and build what I have behind me, have more features and even more of a gun I want over the Q that I have in front of me. I like the color, I like the finish. Honestly, just not sold on either gun at all. Guys, for my question of the day, what do you think of the Sugar Weasel over the Honey Badger? Is this gun something you would buy personally? Let me know down in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button, comment, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we put out a new video. I hope you guys will also go and check out all of our social media. I have it all listed down below so you guys can find it there. Make sure you go and check out our store. It's been linked at the end of this video here. See you guys in the next video. Peace.